everybody, welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you how you can turn yourself into Winifred Sanderson. And if you don't know who that is, you're not my friend anymore. Don't watch my video. No, just kidding. This is from my all-time favorite Halloween movie, Hocus Pocus. So I decided that I needed to make some type of Halloween tutorial, costume, makeup, whatever it is. Today's the day, so stay tuned. So the first thing I'm gonna do is section off my hair. When you section off your hair, it just makes it a lot more easier to deal with, just because this hairstyle is a lot of work, but it pays off in the end. So I'm just gonna tie this off and then just forget about it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is section my whole head evenly. So I'm gonna do a middle part all the way down to the back of my head. And then from that middle part, I'm gonna take the back section of my hair and then put it into a high ponytail. And so this part is gonna be for that heart shape that she has in her hair. And it's gonna be the two bumps in the back. So these are my poly bands that I bought from Target. Super useful, they're super tiny, but they're really stretchy. So like I mentioned, we're gonna put it into a very high ponytail. So try to pull it as high as you can, and then just section it off as soon as you can. So I'm tying it off with my poly band real quick. And these are super, I highly recommend these just because you can't see them at all, and you can hide them very easily. So once you're done with that section, you're gonna move to the other side, and then Again, just do a high pony, section it off, and then pull it as tight as you can and as high as you can because you want it as high on your head as possible. I look like a dog. <laughs> so you should have one, two, three, four, five sections once you're done. So for that front section, as I said before, it's going to be that little bump it. So rat it out and tease it out. Just grab a brush and brush towards your scalp. And then you should get a hairband and just to hold down the other sections just so they don't get in the way. So just rat it out and tease it out and bring the brush to the scalp just so it's all teased and huge. The bigger the better to be honest just so you have more to work with and whatnot. So keep teasing it out as much as you can and then once you feel like you're ready just put it all together and then put it back and then once you get your desired look just make sure to twist the end just so you have something to pin to the back of your head. I think it just makes it easier and it also gives it more volume. So my best friend in this tutorial, hairspray. You're going to use tons of hairspray in this tutorial. I guarantee that. So hairspray as much as you can. I would hairspray it over and over and over and over again just so it holds because this hairdo is humongous. Like it's literally so huge. So I just got a pick comb and now I'm just fixing it up and trying to make it look as nice as possible. This part was bugging me just because it was sticking up. I mean, obviously this hairdo doesn't need to look perfect just because not only is she a witch, but she's a dirty witch and she running through the forest trying to kill some kids. So your hair doesn't need to look perfect, but it was just bugging me. So I'm getting a poly band and putting it over my two high ponytails because for this heart in the back, there is no space in between the two bumps. So I'm trying to get these ponytails as close together as possible but I also want them to be their own two bumps, if that makes sense. So right now I'm gonna start off by teasing and ratting each section off. So I'm just ratting this section out and try to making it as big as possible. Like I said, you want these sections as, as huge as possible just so you have more to work with. And it's honestly gonna make the look so much better in the end. So not only am I using a brush, but I'm also gonna be using a comb because I use the brush first just to get as much as, it, as I can. And then I use the comb just to get into like the further details and stuff like that. Do you guys see how huge it's gotten? Like so big. So right now I'm grabbing a section and I'm wrapping it around towards the middle. And what that does is it pulls the lump in the hair closer to the middle so it looks even and it looks round. So I'm just grabbing sections and pinning them down just so it doesn't move and it stays in place. So now I'm going to hairspray it and whatnot but I'm also going to fix it up. So just spray it with tons and tons and tons of hairspray and then once it dries, pick it up like this and it'll give it more volume and more shape. It really helps out. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other side and I'm just going to speed it up. There we go. So now they're both done. They're both hairsprayed. They're both pinned back. Look how cute I look. Yes. Now I'm going to start ratting and teasing out the front sections. So these sections, you want to get it as big as possible, but towards the roots, brush it like how you would normally brush your hair. You don't want to tease the front parts because we're gonna be pinning the back, so you don't want the front parts to look all ratty and weird. So now I'm gonna do is twist it once again, and then I'm gonna pin it to the back of my bump. So I'm gonna pin it to the scalp, but towards the back, just so it has that nice swooping effect. 
Then I'm going to put a bobby pin towards my ear just so my ears stick out and it just makes it look better. It gives it more shape and more form. And then just hairspray it down. Like I said, tons of hairspray. And so what I'm doing with my comb right here is I'm kind of shaping it and making it look not cleaner, but just more precise. You know what I mean? It looks better like that. So yeah, I'm just checking to see that it's okay and everything looks even. And then I'm going to pin my baby hairs down in the back just so, I don't know, it was just bugging me. I think it just looks cleaner like this. So now it's time to color it. So I did the coloring off camera and that triangle in the middle of my head is her widow's peak. I know it's not as exaggerated, but I thought I would just exaggerate it just because it looks better. So right now I'm just gluing down my eyebrows because she literally has no eyebrows. And have you seen my eyebrows? They are caterpillars. They are huge. So I just got some Elmer's glue, an Elmer's glue stick. And now I'm just gluing down my eyebrows because this is what drag queens do and everybody else. So yeah, look at me sporting that foundation. Yes, makeup guru who? So this is a Kat Von D foundation that my sister gave me. And she's so much whiter than me. But also Winifred is really white. So yeah. So now I'm just putting foundation on it. I've never done this before. I don't wear foundation. I'm applying it with a beauty blender I found in my sister's drawer and she doesn't know so <laughs> and you're supposed to have it damp so yeah. So now I'm just gonna apply foundation all over my face evenly and just pat 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 because that's what I see in other makeup tutorials. You just pat it on. So I'm just patting 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 and I'm gonna pat over my lips. I'm gonna cover my lips and my eyebrows just so it's easier to apply the makeup later on in the tutorial and also I just want to say this now even though it looks like a really dark red orange in the widow's peak it's because it's still wet so like as it dries it gets lighter and lighter so don't worry about that just apply your foundation and just pretend it's not there pat 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 and I wasn't gonna shave for this but if you want to you can shave so now I'm just gonna apply some translucent powder onto first on my eyebrows because I need to cover them suckers and then I'm just gonna set my face with some powder all around and just pack that stuff on because you don't want to look sweaty or just disgusting at the end of the day but look at my eyebrows oh they're gone that's weird so now I'm just gonna apply some eyeshadow and I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just showing off the colors because that's what makeup gurus do and I'm gonna put the lighter color on first just because to give it a nice base you know because I'm really professional like that and then I'm gonna take the darker color it was like a darker like brown gray and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. But not only that, I'm going to apply it like further up onto like my actual eyebrow just to cover it up some because you can still kind of see my eyebrows. So I'm just going to bring it up higher just to create that illusion like I don't really have any eyebrows and it's just like my bone structure like that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So now I'm going to take an even darker color. It's still a brown. And I'm going to apply it more just to add more color and more depth and whatnot and definition. And see, I'm going to apply it higher. So I'm trying to cover up my eyebrows and it still doesn't work that much. But you know what I'm trying to do. It makes sense. Whatever. Don't hate on me. So yeah, look at me. I look good. And I know it's not blended. I don't think it's supposed to be blended. She doesn't know how to do her makeup. Like she's born in the what? 1800s? 1700s? Whatever. So now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Because you want them as big as possible. You can also buy fake eyelashes if you want to. But I've never applied those and I was too scared. So I just thought I'd use my normal eyelashes. So now I'm just curling them and then I'm going to apply mascara. I don't know what mascara this is. It's my granny's. But yeah, so just apply mascara. Try to get them as big as possible. Because, you know, the bigger the better. They open up your eyes more as well. So yeah, I'm trying to look pretty, yo. And wait for it because I end up messing up. Look at this. Oh, fudge basket. <laughs> so now I'm going to apply on some lipstick. Um, I used this lip stain. It was really bright red and everything. You can use whatever you want. You can use makeup. You, I mean like Halloween makeup. Or you can use lipstick or, you know, whatever's red. So the way her lipstick is, it kind of looks like a heart. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to make it look like a heart. The lipstick is only applied in the center of her lips. So that's why I put foundation on my lips. Just to, you know make the illusion as if those are just my lips like that like can you imagine if my lips just look like that ew ew how would you kiss somebody like that <laughs> that's scary so yeah just apply your lipstick and make it look like a heart make it look cute look at that oh my gosh ew <laughs> so her blush is literally applied like 
on the apples of her cheeks and that's it it's not blended it's it's just really really harsh so yeah just do what i'm doing tell me i'm pretty am i pretty to, am i pretty enough for you now tell me i'm pretty and that's it for the makeup so now i'm gonna put on my fake nails my fake buck teeth my jewelry and my costume and i'll be back i smell children so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it because I literally look insane. <laughs> I really hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. And if you recreate this look from this video, don't forget to tag me in it because I really want to see what you guys did. So yeah, go subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of my videos. Have a good one. Come! We're fine.